Hey everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. I hope you're doing well today. And uh, I want to take a look at something. I know that as we're getting better and better with the technology, all of these awesome web services, we start to come upon a question that bothers a lot of us. And it's, how can we automate our online processes effectively? You know, um, the, the problem is that, you know, we have so many great services, but they are really hard to keep on top of. We have Twitter, Instagram, Google, Evernote, and more and more and more. Everything really, all these great services online. Um, but there is a way to keep on top of them. And uh, today I'm going to introduce that to you. That is IFT. Now I know it's I F T T T, uh, but they do pronounce it IFT, like gift without the G. Um, and IFT is an automation service that stands for if this then that. Okay, so meaning that if we see uh, something happen in one of our services, we can send a trigger to make something else happen in another service. So today we're going to take a brief look at that and see how that can uh, help us out as teachers, either in the classroom or for ourselves in our uh, personal and professional lives outside of the classroom. As we go to ift.com, you are going to join and I am going to sign in. Because I've already created a couple of recipes, uh, it's going to start me off looking a little different than what you're going to see when you log in. But the way IFT works is that it has what they call recipes, meaning uh, the connection between two different services, and that's what we're going to take a look at. So the best way to do it, I think, from the beginning is to go right up here at the top. It says My Recipes, Create, Browse, Channels. I'm going to go to Channels. And here it gives you a list of all of the different services that it can use in combination with one another. So if you happen to be an Android user, they just recently connected with Android, um, which is really awesome for Android users. Um, but you can take a look at some of these services. Many of them you will not have, but some of them you may. So for example, uh, Bitly, maybe you use Craigslist. Some of them are really generic, just the idea of a date and time. Um, Dropbox, which I've talked about before, Evernote, uh, Feedly, and so on and so forth. Some of them are your calendars, your Gmail. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, services. I don't want to call them applications, but they are web services, even a telephone call. Um, and the idea here is that you connect the two different services together to create a new action. So let's take a look at how these might work. One way to do it is to go up and look at this browse section. So browse will give you a few ideas of different recipes that people have created. So they might be ones that are recommended for you as you start to connect your own uh, services, but some of them might be trending. So for example, here it says, is it raining tomorrow? Get an Android notification or mute my phone when I get to the office and turn on vibrate. That might be really useful in the classroom if you're uh, telling your students not to have their phones on, but you accidentally have your phone on. Um, so on and so forth. The, a lot of these right now are Android because Android was recently uh, added on to IFT, but there are so many different things and you can see these featured apps, or sorry, these featured recipes. Um, upload a new Instagram photo to Flickr. Uh, you can connect with, um, you know, Twitter to Twitter. That's really useful for a lot of people. All sorts of interesting things. Um, so let's get a couple of ideas real specifically of how this is going to work. Okay, if I go to channels, I might see a couple of services that I want to work with. So let's say, for example, the first one is date and time. I click on that. So I want something to happen at a certain date at a certain time. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can see a trigger. And so it can say every day at blank or every hour at blank. And then there's the possibilities for actions, but actions aren't going to work because things don't happen to time 
time happens to things. Um, so there's also uh, every day of the week at this, every month, there's a lot of different possible triggers. So let's, uh, let's take a look and let's make a recipe. If this, so this, I click on the big this, and I'm gonna say, I want the date and time, where'd it go? No, sorry, here it is. So I can choose, right? Every day at, every hour at, every day of the week at, um, et cetera. So I'm gonna say every day at what time? Let's say uh, 8 a.m. I'm going to create a trigger. And so it says every day at 8 a.m. Then I'm gonna click on that. Now I can choose something else. So let's say for example, I wanted to choose a tweet. I can go to Twitter and I can choose any kind of action. Now here's the part where I want you to be careful. This is gonna take a little playing around with. You must connect your own account to IFT. So for example, my Twitter account is already connected to IFT, but if you're not, it'll ask you to do that. So I'm gonna say, let's uh, post a tweet every day at 8 a.m. and it'll say, another day it's, and then it'll say, check the time, and then I'll say, I hope everybody's ready for another great day of school. And so I can post this and I can create the action. So I know that it's gonna say, uh, if every day at 8 a.m., then post a tweet to my uh, Twitter handle, which is at EdTechPrincipal, and then I'm just gonna sit, create the recipe. So now I know that every day that particular message is going to shoot out at eight o'clock and everybody on my Twitter feed will see that. As useful as that might be, let's take a look at a couple other possibilities. Um, there's one with uh, location that I think is pretty cool. Let's see if we can find that. There are a lot here, so it's easy to get lost. Here we go, iOS location. Okay, so I use an iPhone. Um, so I'm gonna click on the iOS location and it'll make me activate it to find out where, I, where I'm at. And I do have to have the uh, IFT app installed on my phone. So to edit or activate it, I have to go to the IFT app, okay? I'm not gonna do it right now because I just wanna show you guys the possibilities, but let's go back. Here are a couple of possibilities with locations. So it says, remind yourself to meet at this amazing spot next time you're in the area. Um, one that I think might be kinda cool is, uh, you know, tell your husband or wife that you're heading home. Here you go, right here. Let people know you're coming home. So if you uh, drive maybe half a mile away from work and that's the only time that you do that, then you might send off a message saying, hey, I'm on my way home. I'll be there in uh, 20 minutes or something like that. Sending out a short SMS. You could also use the, uh, the iOS location maybe with Twitter and tell your students that you're on your way to the classroom, right? So you say, hey, you guys have four minutes to get to class before I do. Uh, so that's just a couple of really short ideas. The problem is uh, there are so many different possibilities. We got you know over a hundred different services here and I can combine them endlessly with each other for all sorts of purposes. I really, really hope that you play around with this. Some of the most useful ones to me are SMS, uh, Twitter, um, YouTube, WordPress if you're blogging, uh, Pocket, which I've introduced before, uh, Instagram, I mean, the list goes on and on, but they can be really, really great resources. You can definitely use these for your personal uses as well as for school uses. So that's what IFT is. IFT connects two different web services in order to uh, create a new action without you having to be present to make it happen every single time. Super, super interesting and useful, and the implications are really, really endless. 
Uh, so I hope that you guys play around with it, and I hope that you find this uh, something that you can bring into the classroom and into your uh, personal and professional development. All right, I hope you can get a brief feeling of what's possible with IFT. And so uh, for your homework today, I'd like you to go to IFT.com, that's I-F-T-T-T dot com, and create an account. After that, what I want you to do is to connect as many services as you use. Now, there is no way that you will use all of them, but you know if you're on three or four services, then connect them. See how you can uh, put those in combination with each other to make something useful. And then finally, make the useful thing. So make at least three recipes to see what is possible. Uh, the great thing is that the more you play around with it, and the more that you browse other people's recipes, you're really going to see the possibilities and how you can automate a lot of processes that you're like, oh, I don't really want to tweet every single time or, you know, I can't remember to send these things to Evernote every day or whatever it is. Uh, so check those things out. Um, as always, if you like this video, I hope you'll click on the like button and also please subscribe. Uh, I would love it if you follow me at EdTechPrincipal on Twitter, at YouTube also at EdTechPrincipal, and then at Facebook at EdTechTV. Uh, any comments or questions that you guys have, I'd be uh, help, happy to help you out as much as I know how to. So, you know, we're, we're in this together. And so let's uh, try and make some uh, interesting things happen and see what we can get uh, in the future with IFT. And do keep an eye on it because IFT is always adding new services. So if what you use isn't on IFT right now, I bet you it will be real soon. Okay, thanks guys. Talk to you soon and uh, I hope you have a good one.